Hello and welcome to the TechLink Anaplan Expert Series on 2D Loads and Tier IDs. My name is Sahil Iyer and I'm an Associate Consultant here at TechLink. Today we will be discussing 2D Loads and Tier IDs or Transaction IDs between flat files and Anaplan. One important benefit of working with a 2D table is that it saves large amounts of space in a model and allows a user to store, store large amounts of data that would otherwise be inconceivable. We use tier IDs to distinguish entries in a unique fashion to break down a transaction at the ground level. If a tier ID has unique characteristics in its name, then it will be easy to find and distinguish problems within a large data set of transactions. We need a tier ID because we cannot have overlapping item names within a 2D table and the unique tier ID allows multiple entries of similar data points that have slightly different characteristics. In addition, we can use this data to create a hierarchy based on transactional data, but we will be covering this topic in an upcoming separate video from TechLink. To begin the 2D load process, a user must first look at the data we are aiming to load and the format of the data. As we can see, we have multiple columns here for each transaction. We have the date, the year, the account, the code, the country, the category, the subcategory, the brand, and the amount. For a business problem, the above table will usually have hundreds of thousands of entries long, which will make this a difficult data set to organize and obtain insights and trends. But this is where Anaplan can come in where we can load the data in a timely fashion and then develop insights and trends from the data at hand. So our first step is we want to create a module in our model. And to start off, we won't have any dimension, time, scale, or version. The next step is we'll want to create line items that correspond to each of the columns in our flat file. As you can see, I created those here. And you'll also need to format each line items corresponding to each uh, line or column. As you can see, the date, we have the month. For the year, we have the year. For the code and the amount, we have the number. And for the account, we have the text. For the country, category, subcategory, and brand, we also have the text. In other situations, the items that have a text formatting, you'll be able to load them in a list format to make the 2D table more user accessible. But for our situation, we will stick to a text formatting. Next step is in Excel, we'll want to create a transaction ID on our flat file that includes characteristics of each of these transactions. As you can see, the transaction ID we created here, it has the date, the code, the country, the account and the brand. Uh, for other situations with more similar transactions, we might want to add in more parts of the transaction ID. But for our task here, we'll stick to we'll stick to uh, these items in our transaction ID. If a user imports multiple tier IDs with the same code, the data will be summed up if the line item is number formatted. So if these two were the same, then the amount would be summed up in Anaplan. But we want to make sure that each of these are different. We'll want to use the concatenate function in Excel. And we'll want to save this as a CSV file. The next step is to load this into Anaplan. So we'll want to go to list and load this as a list. Use the import. We'll only want to load in our last tier ID column and use the name. successfully created and now we can add this as a dimension to our 2d table 
as you can see it comes in the, the pages part we we'll want to move that to the rows now we can load the data by selecting import uh, into our from our CSV file as you can see we have our tier IDs but the data that makes up most of the flat file is still empty however we have corresponding tier IDs that will load it in successfully so we can take in the same flat file and you want to make sure that the source comes in correctly where we have our tier ID and the column headers correspond to each column next you want to make sure that the source items are all mapped correctly as you can see we have tier ID yes and in our line items also yes we have no issues with the load and as you can see all of the items that were entered in in our flat file now are fully loaded in into our 2D table in Anaplan. So we now have our final 2D load with our unique tier IDs in Anaplan. And as we move along, we continue to add items in our tier ID, tier ID list and load in more da data into our 2D table. Furthermore, our ability to manipulate the data with filters or into dashboards can be done now that all the data is in Anaplan. Thank you very much. Uh, please reach out to anyone at TechLink if you have further questions. But as you can see, we now have our full 2D load with our transaction IDs. Thank you and have a great day.